How's it going guys? This is Matt with Downrange Firearms Training. Uh, today I want to talk to you about a new firearm on the market. It's one of the latest double action striker fired Palmer pistols. It's made by the United Arab Emirates. It's called the Caracal. What I have right here is the Caracal F. Um, it's been compared to some of the other guns on the market like the Springfield XDM, the Smith & Wesson M&P series, and a lot of the Glock series guns. Uh, I just want to talk about some of the differences that you're going to find in the gun compared to the other three aforementioned guns. First thing you can notice with this firearm when you pick it up and you go and you get a grip in the gun is a very low bore axis. What's great about that is the fact that because it is such a low bore axis, it's going to reduce recoil when firing, so there's going to be a lot less muzzle flip, and therefore you'll be able to get on target a lot faster for follow-up shots. The next part I want to talk about is the sighting system on this gun. What's unique about this gun is the fact that the sights are actually built into the rear of the slide, giving you a really long sight radius, longer than most other defensive pistols out there. It's actually kind of a unique sighting system. I'm going to zoom in and show you. It's a proprietary two-dot system, and we're going to call it the straight-eight system. And what's nice about it is the fact that it actually has a little ledge right here for any kind of charger sights that you guys may be familiar with, so you can do any kind of one-handed malfunction drill or something like that. Uh, some other benefits of the gun, the fact that it does give you a little bit different grip angle. A lot of guys that don't like the grip angle on a Glock, it does kind of bump the grip out a little bit, so you get a, look, a, lot, a little more meat on the gun than you would uh, on, say, one of the Glock pistols and does have that double action, safe action trigger just like the Glock does. <clears throat> um, some differences in compared to some of the other firearms that I mentioned, for example, the slide on this gun is a very small slide and doesn't really have very deep serrations like you would see on one of the Springfield XDM models or an XD model. Uh, the Springfield's got a really thick slide on it and some really aggressive slide serrations on the front and the rear, uh, or even the Smith & Wesson M&P it doesn't have serrations, but it's actually got the scalloping on there, which is going to be a lot easier and facilitate you in a overhand rack if you did have to reload the pistol. Um, one of the benefits that I do like about this gun is straight out of the box from the factory, it's got an incredible trigger on it. Um, again, double action, and it comes in at about five, five and a half pound trigger, a very little reset and very um, not a long travel as opposed to the Glock system, especially with the new Gen 4 guns. A lot of people aren't feeling the triggers on those. And the M&Ps, which are out of the box, have a very spongy, again, a long trigger pull. Um, crisp trigger, but there is that long travel in between shots. So that's what's great about the Caracal is the fact that right out of the box, it's got a great trigger on it. My one thing that I can find as a downfall with this gun is the magazine release. Yes, it is a ambidextrous mag magazine release, so it's nice if you're a righty or a lefty. But because it's so small, it kind of makes it hard to manipulate that if you were doing a one-handed reload or something like that. Um, you know, I'm a big fan of the Gen 4 Glocks, and everybody that knows me knows I'm a huge Glock guy. And one of the biggest reasons is the mag release. It's super easy with your thumb to drop that magazine, load a new magazine up, and get back in the fight. Um, even with the XDM series, ambidextrous and it's big overextended magazine release and same thing with the MPs you know um, the magazine release sticks out and again is ambidextrous so that is my only one downfall with the uh, with the Caracal other than that I think it's a great firearm and I think you guys should go out and get one gun cost me four hundred and sixty dollars comes with two magazines and a case and I think it's may revolutionize the uh, double action striker fired polymer gun market Hey guys, for any more information on the new Caracal F pistols, uh, check out the website www.drftraining.com and we're going to be uploading a bunch more videos. We're going to take the gun to the range this weekend, put it through its paces and compare it uh, hand in hand with the Springfield XDM, with the Glocks and with the Smith & Wesson M&P series.